I'm Lauren Turner from the City of Farmington Hill. Welcome to the four. Look at who's sitting next to me. Lauren yes. Turner. Hey, that looks cool. I want to join. I hear music. Let's find it. So I just take a little bit of each and put yeah. them together. Oh. <laughs> I think this may be like um, a little bit of an initiation for me. Oh, that's we what have it is. some crazy stuff going on. I think we're going to start with Oreos, and instead of dipping them in milk, we're going to dip them in orange juice. All right. All right. Nope. <laughs> No. Nope. <laughs> Not good. This, it's this easy. Is, this is for Dr. Alex because I talked about yes. him eating treats live on TV. So, so you're going to do it? I'm going to eat a treat. Live Lauren's on. husband is a vet. What does it taste like? Mm. No, I'm just kidding. It's I'll do it too. It's so good. They're good. While the Tony Awards returned Sunday after a long delay due to the pandemic, the night honored Broadway's best and brightest from the 2019 through 2020 season. It's October 1st, which means it's officially spooky season. And with spooky season comes spooky stories in movies and TV. Lego Star Wars Terrifying Tales is a short film now streaming on Disney+. Plus. This special is produced by Atomic Cartoons, The Lego Group, and of course, Lucasfilm. Yeah. Yeah. Xavier and Lauren, have you ever wondered what you would look like if you shaved your head? Oh, I just, there's a, there's a tick, there's like a Snapchat <laughs> filter. I just Maybe. do like this. My head's really big. Wait, so let's, show me. Let's see what it's oh, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> dang. How is hey, that I hair would, like actually, you know what? I would rock that. Yeah. We have to give something away. Yes. Of Halloween. Yes. Halloween is getting closer, so many Michiganders are starting to show the spooky season spirit with some frightening decor. So, guys, we asked you to show off your haunt, and we were super impressed. Or should I say, we were super scared <laughs> of this setup. So, Jenny from Sault Ste. Marie has a very colorful display featuring eerie lighting, skeletons, a trap door a graveyard, and so much more. Jenny, you're one cool ghoul, like what I did there. And you're our Facebook Fan of the Week. Hello and welcome to The Four. We're so excited to have you here today on this Thursday. Xavier is out reporting for us, but he'll be back tomorrow. But we Thank have goodness. the wonderful Bill Freilich with us. You're He's also kind. my boss, guys. So, like, if you really <laughs> like this show today, make sure you email him, Facebook him. All right. So, here's a little more comic relief for you on this Friday Eve. Why did the Scarecrow win the Nobel Peace Prize? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you have a joke you want to share, just email us at the four at night and ten news .com. Every year, BET and Deborah Lee put together a dinner for the most exclusive talent, the nominees and guests of the BET Awards. This year was no different. You know? And this isn't just you starring in this film. You are also executive producer. Yeah. This is your, this is her idea, guys, like the whole movie. So tell me the story. How did this all happen? Well, okay, long story short, me and my dad and my mom, we just had like a lot of like ideas, you know? So we went to our agency and was like, what if we like created something? Like, how cool would that be? All right, guys, we're here with the beautiful, talented Miss Regina Hall. Even though I got dressed for you, I'm in character though. So my little, <laughs> my hair, I gave you all my character. This Loving big, this hair. Big Jordan. We are here at the Farmington Hills Golf Club on this beautiful day with PGA professional Jamie Cole. We're going to go check out programs for adults 50 and better. We have a big variety of jobs here at the Hawk. The film dives deep into the history of hockey, touching on racism and the blood, sweat, and tears former players endured in the early days of the CHL. Fast forward to 2021, and here at the Farmington Hills Ice Arena, it doesn't matter what background you come from. Once you lace up those skates, you're a part of a team. 11-year-old Zayden Clark knows firsthand how important teamwork is. The left wing from Farmington Hills has loved hockey for as long as he can remember. I've been playing hockey for five years. In those five years, Zayden has accomplished a lot, leading his Little Caesars team to victory many times and making his parents so proud. 
he picked up like that. Like he really was just a hard worker from the, from, from the beginning. And you could tell he was at that age at five, he was trying to strive to the next level. Now this might be the biggest change made in this building. This aquatic center, as you can see, is gonna be amazing. Here you'll have a water slide, zero depth entry, a lazy river, rock climbing wall, and a zip line. And there's a party room that overlooks the pool. Hey, can I book my birthday party now? Diversity is growing every day in the great sport of hockey, so get involved. Until next time, I'm your Hills host, Lauren Turner.